Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com okay, This is our product title for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks okay, So this is our abstract for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks So here uh, we will discuss about the mobile cellular networks So first of all the mobile cellular networks have become both the generators and the carriers of massive data information So the big data analytics can improve the performance of mobile cellular network and maximize the revenue of operators in this paper uh, we introduce a uh, unified data model based on the random matrix theory and the machine learning and here we present an architectural framework for applying the big data analytics in the mobile cellular networks so moreover we describe several illustrative examples uh, to the such as the big data analytics as the big signaling data traffic data and the location data and the radio waveforms and big heterogeneous data in mobile cellular networks so these are some different types of mobile cellular networks processing we will analyze and finally we discuss the number of open research challenges on big data analytics in the mobile cellular okay so this is our architecture for the big data analytics and uh, here uh, uh, here we will describe our data uh, to the data browsing uh, data browsing as choose the some particular data sets will be loaded and the finally the data will be clustered after the cluster the data will be classification so the clustered and frequent data is to be passing the different routers this is the router information this router information is finally stored on the HTVS server the HTVS server with we will processing our big data concepts okay now so this is the flow diagram for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks uh, so first of all always I'm z with uh, here <coughs> here this is the data the data information is to be processed so this is the load data set the load data set means different set of attribute based and uh, create and uh, create and the data set will be loaded into the database and so the after the data set uh, will be loaded it's going for the pre-processing stage the pre-process means and suppose the data set has to be any uh, row or column is to be null to be removed the null values or uh, unwanted data to be removed is the it's called pre-process mm, so after the pre-process completed the data is going to be clustered uh, for the separation uh, it's called a cluster the clustering means after the data is clustering it's going for classification classification means uh, here we will uh, different set of machine learning algorithms using to be classified our data uh, for example um, uh, more than one classification as support vector machine linear regression navy bison navy bison so these are uh, navy bison linear regression k nearest neighbor optimist k means classification cantor gt so these are some classification uh, algorithms to be used so these are some classification algorithms or any classification algorithm used to be frequent uh, data to be finding finding for frequent data uh, so after the user to be view the data so these are some particular data is to be uh, going for the uh, routers multiple routers okay uh, so th this is the router information so this router information is to be sequence data is to be processing for the routers this uh, this is the different set of routers so the data is passing to the uh, routers okay uh, so after the routers passing data the data is finally to be uh, stored on the nodes okay uh, nodes to be passing finally the data is stored on the HTVS server so server uh, server is called HTVS so after the HTVS data will go into the processing the map and reduce okay so finally the users access the data okay now the demo section is start for the big data analytics okay okay uh, so this is our home page uh, for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks uh, so go for mm, welcome okay so uh, let's go for next process okay uh, <coughs> So this is the big data analytics here. Uh, file chooser using choosing p some particular data sets. Okay, uh, so go for desktop. So product twenty nine data set using the network dot txt. Okay, uh, so this is our process. So go for next. So this is the loading data for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks. 
so this is the pre process uh, okay so go for next clustering so this is the clustering process for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks so now uh, what is the before clustering data okay so and uh, this is the whole data information for the before clustering for the big data analytics in mobile cellular networks for the networking data uh, so do not select so after the clustering so the results are clustered so these are some here uh, I'm using the different types for example uh, before clustering okay so this is the I'm taking the networking types okay the network types will be the mobile computer system system and mobile so these are some networking types these are some sub sub types okay so after the clustering data uh, here I'm choosing the types as networks mobile computer system okay so uh, now I'm choosing the mobile data okay so now the mobile data will be clustered uh, uh, any record is do not overlap 2 4 to 16 so these are some mobile networking data to be processed so here I am choosing the different types of clustering data as is called mobile computer system these are some cl one clustering data so now I am choosing one of the clustering data as mobile okay one of clustering data as mobile so now the mobile data is displayed so I go to the clustering data as networking so the networking data is to be processed computer so the computer type is to be processed go for next <laughs> here and uh, now we will classify our data so always said with uh, here we using different set of classification algorithms uh, it's called machine learning algorithm so here I'm using the Navy Basin classification Navy Basin is the one of the supervised learning methods or uh, machine learning techniques it's mainly used for data classification okay mm, so I'm using the mobile network based uh, data types mobile is the one of the clustering data so the clustering data based will classified uh, using for navy basin classification okay so this is a mobile uh, so this is the uh, computer so this is a count count for four computers data to be processed okay now I'm uh, taking the network so under types of the sub classification means we using the types of data for example the system type has two types one is the email and the one is the broadcast okay so this is the uh, subclustering data so the sorry subclassification data so the results are classified so these are some types of the cellular networks femtocell wifi broadcast this is some mobile information data so i am choosing the cellular networks okay so the reclustering okay uh, always said with so the network type is uh, mobile the type of cl uh, the clustering data is mobile mobile is one of the clustering data and the cellular data is the one of the sub classification data okay so view okay so this is the uh, different set of classification this is the uh, different data set based on processing our data so this is some um, information to be specified so you all go for next okay uh, so this is the uh, different set of address based create the source and destination data is the size so this is the different set of address based uh, data classifications uh, so now the data is will be classified okay now we will finding the frequent data so after we will the frequent data is to be stored on the uh, some particular routers okay so this is a, a file uploading process okay uh, so I am choosing the file test so choosing the files uh, for example choosing the data set okay so go for our process this is a location path so this is the data set is called city.txt okay so this is our file path so confirm the files mm. so proceed so this is the file name as city.txt text file so this is the file size this is also so this file information is going for data owner so the data owner is to be splitting the files so here uh, we will um, do not perform manually so when I am choosing the type of file it will be performed automatically so the number of lines is 23 so the splitter files is 8 so the 23 lines is to be splitted for 8 so every uh, file has 3 lines 8 
23s are 24 so 23 okay so the access file so the user file is given to the data owner to split the files so selecting for nodes so this is our uh, one of main process selection of nodes is called a routers so I am choosing the total number of uh, routers data is 50 okay so this is our routers data is the number of routers prepared files is 8 so node selection so this is some random data to be processed file transferring okay so the number of files is 8 so the node will be replicated so the replication files okay so this is uh, a uh, data replication node so the number of files is 8 to be the node replication node will be processing so the text file go for next okay uh, so uh, the some files are assigned to the some particular nodes uh, nodes into the network controllers okay the replication of files number of files 8 nodes okay so the files are assigned to the uh, controllers so go for next mm, files get from the data owner okay uh, so this is our original files for the desktop cd.txt so the original files is 8 splitted files is now original is uh, a single file splitted for the 8 files okay mm, so go for next uh, so this is a request to for files okay so this is uh, uh, authentication text okay so this is the value file name so verify okay, so uh, this uh, mismatch is the because uh, here the not user okay so view the file content and finally the file download okay so finally the file is download file so this is the source uh, browser destination destination means product 29 so this is our product 29 is our uh, destination browser destination file so the some particular file is to be download so this is uh, some file is to be download so this is a performance graph to be specified okay uh, so next uh, the file is going to be stored on the stfs server okay so uh, now uh, the files are stored on the stfs servers okay okay so uh, click to run us uh, hadoop so hadoop mm, okay so the big data process so this is the big data processing so the file is stored on the server server okay exception So again choosing the files. Okay, uh, so this is the file selection. Okay, uh, so this is the file selection process for the file is stored on the Steve server. So this is the refreshing. So this is the DFS locations. Okay, so choosing the path. Okay, uh, so this is our uh, file selection path on HDFS is Hadoop MapReduce system. So the file name is networking, sorry, network. Okay, so the um, so this is the DFS locations for VMware. So this is a MapReduce system. So okay, logs. So this is the history. I'm referencing history three. Okay, so this is our files. Okay. Uh, so this is our uh, data so this is our data so the data successfully stored on the stvs servers now we will go for map data okay so this
so this is our netting file so the files are stored on the nested server so run on hadoop so choosing the files So wait for uh, some. It's take for some times. View here. So it's a connected success. So waiting for map and reduce data. Okay, uh, so this is the map and reduce process for the map and reduce is to be processing. Okay, uh, so the files are successfully stored on the uh, Java server, so the map and reduce data is to be processing successfully. So now the demo is finished. Thanks for listening.